Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. Today's video we're going to be adding the shoot sound effect for our weapons in our FPS game that we've been making for the past 67 episodes. First we need a shoot sound effect. For this you can use this uh, web page called BFXR, there's the link in the description or you can just type it into Google. It's a program that allows you or rather a web page that allows you to create sound effects, unique sound effects and they're, they are a bit 8-bit or low quality but it's easy, it's simple and it's free. Once you get here just click the get Adobe Flash Player and then uh, click allow. Then you get this interface that you can, you can change these sliders to get a sound so if you play. And also you can use these prefabs right here to maybe get a, a random sound. There's a specific one for shoot so you can kinda click that one until you get one. I kinda like this one. You can play around to get a bunch of random sounds, even like other sounds not just shooting. But I already found my sound uh, before I started recording. Here it is. Once you have your sound, you can just go export here and then uh, just save it uh, anywhere. I saved mine to desktop and then just drag it into Unity. And if you click on it, maybe drag this up and then uh, just click play here. You can hear it. Now we need to way of telling the game to play this. So we want to play this from the gun game object that we have equipped. So the pretty much the best way to do it is to go to the game objects that we instantiate whenever we pick up a weapon. So for that we can go to the game controller, go to the in or the item database and find the weapons. So just left click on the weapon object and it will take you to it. Now for each one of these you want you want them to have a item ID and then item ID has to be set to the same one as in the item database so for the M4 it should be 1 for the double barrel it should be 2 for the M200 it should be 3 and for the uh, M9 it should be 4 so make sure the IDs match and then you need to get a gun script that uh, we have from before that we made in the previous episodes and also add a audio source for the audio clip, put your shoot sound and make sure you uncheck play on awake. And just change your priority to be default. And now we need to open up our script, our gun script, because we, we need that. But make sure you do that on all the weapons, so they have a gun script with... Or sorry, not a gun script, but an item ID script, a gun script and an audio source. Make sure every weapon has that. And then open up your gun script. In here, first we'll need a way of telling Unity to play a sound. In Unity, we do that with audio sources, the one that we just attached, so we'll need a variable for that in our script. So just go ahead and create a private audio source, like this, and I'll just call it audio. And we need a way of assigning that, so we'll just go to the start method, say audio equals to get component audio source. So basically what we do here is just go to the same game object that the script is attached on and then assign that variable from there. And then we want to tell it to play the sound. So we can do that in our shoot method and we, we don't want to do it in this if statement because this if statement is only uh, functioning whenever we hit a transform or hit an enemy. So we'll do it outside this if statement. So just go audio dot and we'll use a play one shot function because we want to only play it once and then stop. And then I will have to give it a audio clip and we'll give it the audio dot clip. Now the audio dot clip is the audio source dot audio clip. So we just give it this audio clip that we just assigned to the audio source. If you compile that and run the game, I just quickly turn off the music just so it doesn't get in our way. Pick up your weapon and now you can shoot. The animation still isn't working, we haven't fixed that, but the sound is here. So that's it for this episode. Now we can shoot our weapons in game and make us and they make a sound. In the future episode, I'm not sure what we're gonna do, but I'm sure it's going to be some kind of fixing the bugs or the errors that we have right now. For example, the animations here. You see that the animation just gets played and the audio is kind of delayed. But you can go follow me on social media if you enjoyed, subscribe, like, 
um, and uh, comment down below any ideas you have. Share this with your friends and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.